Hello everyone, welcome to Redline Diecast Calls. So glad you're here. Today I'm going to be going over the cars I'm running this Wednesday, the 29th of June, starting at 6 p.m. Central on Studio Dash Redline, a Facebook site uh, dedicated to the Redline era, Hot Wheels Redlines, 1968 through 1977. This is a jet thread in hot pink offered in 1973. Along with the grouping, there's only going to be about 20 cars or so, is a crew car. This has got original roundel, uh, roundel <laughs> original stickers <laughs> and stripes. And the, um, the, uh, tool, the tool area in the back opens up as it should. Yeah, this is a nice white enamel. Pretty unscuffed, pretty clean. Yeah, if you haven't got a uh, crew car... People want to call this a pit crew, but actually it's a crew car. Yeah, actually it's the crew car that uh, was part of the heavyweight series. Beautiful reds on that one too. It's a nice car. We're going to do some 68s as well. I got a bunch of 68s in this uh, this uh, sale. Um, a olive U.S. custom Eldorado. Beauty here, guys. All the sharp edges on this particular casting is, are still intact. Really nice. A little bit of wispy toning on that hood. But don't you love olive in uh, 1968 colors? You know, one that doesn't get a lot of love, but I really like this one. It's really clean. Is an MK4, Ford MK4. Um, this one is in red enamel, but it's super clean and there's no stickers on it. Look at that. This is a beauty. Very, very clean. You don't find them. Yeah, one micro right there. Let's see here. Clean. Not too many micro in the back. Yeah, nice red, super shiny base. This is going to be a nice car. You know, some people don't give enough love to the uh, the red enamel MK4, but that one deserves all the love <laughs> that you can give to a red line. I'm also going to run this white interior Evil Weevil in green. Original Roundel. Original Roundel. Nice shiny base. Yeah, those are nice capped wheels too. Excellent. Nice, nice uh, um, condition. Spoiler. Uh, edge is clean. It's a nice car. Evil Weevil. Oh, this is a nice one here. This, see, who likes gold? You're a gold nugget person. How about this uh, turbo fire in gold? Ooh, this is a nice one, guys. Look at this. A little bit of tarnished base. Very nice reds on this guy. Yeah, this is a great rainbow piece as well. Turbo fire in gold. Wow, what a car. That's a sweet pie right there. That's a sweetie for sure. Put him back here. How about a tri baby? You know, the tri babies um, are, uh, are nice in when they're clean and also the Hong Kong version. I don't know, for some reason, I, I like the Hong Kong paint on the tri babies. Um, for some reason, they just seem to glow a little bit differently than the U.S. versions. I don't know, maybe this is me. Maybe it's just the cars that I've had. Uh, very nice uh, tri-baby here. Of course, you know that the um, the back opens up. There it is. It shows the tri-engine. There they are. Oops. One, two, three. Uno, dos, tres. Yeah, glass is clean too. Look at that. This is a nice Spectre Flame. Try baby. Hong Kong green. Let's get some cars out of here. Make some room for the next one. Oh, I'm going to do an open fire. This, hey, this is going to be a nice little car for somebody. Maybe you haven't got an open fire in your collection. It's a magenta um, based on the uh, on a uh, Gremlin, AMC Gremlin, that was extended out with a couple of aircraft engines. Grill's got a little bit of uh, boo-boos on there. Reds aren't too bad. Of course, the, the, the um, center axle is a floater. That's the way it was manufactured. Nice magenta color on this one. Super shiny base. Look at the detail on the base of that car. That casting of something else, isn't it? Man, Hong Kong. The Hong Kong uh, manufacturing on the Hot Wheels uh, bases for your um, Hong Kong versus U.S. is really remarkable. And I'm going to do a couple of crabs, too. A couple of sand crabs. I'm going to do a green which, this color you don't see that often. I don't know about you, but I don't see this color that often as far as the crabs go. It's a U.S. crab. You can tell by the uh, the clear glass. 
and of course the wheels. But uh, we're going to run a couple of crabs, and uh, that's going to be fun because you're going to have. Hey, let's you know what? Let's just bring up the other one right away. Let's do it. The other crab is going to be a um, yellow, yellow sand crab, also U.S. And um, <clears throat> you know what? Look at your crabs. Make sure you got the two uh, tailpipes. And then the roll bar. Got to get a nice, clean roll bar. It's got a little mark right there. This is a nice, it's a nice little crab. So I'm going to run two crabs. Probably be a choice. I'm not positive yet about that, how I'm going to run them. That may be a choice lot. One that um, I, I really love, uh, the color. The kid uh, where I got this collection from is a red uh, heavy Chevy. But um, uh, reproduction roundel, reproduction uh, deck stripes and then original top you can tell because it's one one piece it's one stripe yeah it's one stripe one sticker if you will see that see the edge see the edge right there you can tell it's one these were added on and these were added on with two roundels but you know what a heavy Chevy in this condition nice a couple of spoilers right there I'll get this open fire out of here I'm gonna do uh, speaking of spoilers how about a, a chrome club car? This is a nice little Boss Haas, Mustang Boss Haas. Original stripes, original rocker panels, and stripes and original roundels. Number four. Yep. Those are caps, by the way. Those are caps. Cap wheels. Nice. Get these out of here. I'm going to do uh, also a purple. So here's a 68. A custom T-Bird in uh, U.S. purple. Yeah, it's got a nice shiny base on this one. Good. A little rub in the back. That's the only thing. I don't know if that was an issue with the factory or what, but uh, a little rub in the back there. TLI package is intact. Purple's a nice color. That's a fun little casting right there. Champagne interior. That's a 60, uh, that's a 67 base. It's early. Put him there. Get these guys out of here. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some of these. Let's do some open wheels. So the first one's an Indy Eagle in green. Indy Eagle. Nice pipes. Yeah, nice chromy pipes. That's a key on this one. The casting is uh, you know known for its uh, its wear on the front um, and some wear on the roll bar, but these are clean. This is a nice one. Nice uh, nice open wheel. Indy Eagle original. Original sticker from Mattel on the side there. I'm going to run three of these, um, three of these open wheels. Here's a Brabham in red. Again, a good nose. Original sticker from Mattel. Good glass, chromy pipes for the most part. A couple of those little open wheels. It's a fun casting right there. You like open wheels? You know, when they're clean like that. And then the one that um, the uh, Lotus Turbine in blue with the all stickered up, that came with a, a water slide. Uh, package and this particular collector did their duty <laughs> and put their uh, water slides on yeah nice that's a sweet car right there let's get rid of this guy this guy a couple more a couple more for you I'll finish off with the Volkswagens first thing I'm going to do this beaten bandit a bendito in beautiful red look at that shiny red Ooh, this is going to be a nice car for somebody. Clean bubble, nice white interior. Super shiny U.S. Uh, Beatnik Bandit. Original 16, look at the taillight package, is still there. Sweet reds on this one, too. Oh, that's a nice car. That's a nice 68. All right, so then we'll finish off with the, uh, we'll finish off with three bugs. <laughs> three Volkswagens. I love this casting, don't you? When they're, uh, uh, Mattel uh, one and done as far as the uh, original 16. Uh, blue, white interior, got a blue, white interior, and aqua, white interior, U.S. They're all U.S., this particular uh, group. And then uh, last but not least, why not? Let's have some fun. We'll top it off with a green, a green, white interior. Let me do a choice on these two. Someone get some, someone's going to get some nice instant bug action in their red line collection. Check it out. All right, so there is the, uh, there's the group that will be included on this Wednesday, the 29th of June, starting at 6 o'clock 
Central Standard Time. I'm only going to run for about an, maybe two hours, two and a half hours, and be done with it. And then uh, you can swoop in, swoop out, grab yourself some nice red lines. Hope to see you. Do give this content a thumbs up. Like and subscribe. I really greatly appreciate that. Hope to see you on Wednesday then. Okay, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.